Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Well, according to the Chinese calendar, we are now in winter. We've actually been in winter a couple of weeks. And so uh, we're going to address that today because it, I think that the work that we do in winter is probably the most important energetically of the whole year. And that's because we're addressing the water element, but more importantly, the, the kidneys, which in Chinese medicine and Chinese martial arts is, is a source of your vitality and your, it's the, your, your alone vital is, it, it, it is generated in the, in the kidney area where you notice it, um, it gets depleted it, there will be a, um, uh, you know, uh, that lack of vitality, but you also notice it, say, and, and back aches, and there are problems with your, your general system, and um, it, uh, uh, stress, particularly overwork, tends to deplete your kidney, uh, kidney chi, so the work we do in the wintertime is to bring the, to nurture that kidney energy and just create that familiar foundation because kidney energy is the most yin of all the, uh, of all the elements, of all the five elements, that's the one that's most, that's most yin. So you want to really establish that because it is the source of, of the vitality going through the rest of the year. Everything else is kind of dependent on what, resources you have built up in the uh, in the you know in, in the winter months so um, the two points we're going to focus on today are the uh, the chi high point which uh, is if you look at so uh, about two uh, Two fingers below my navel is a, it's a do six uh, con, uh, conception vessel, six CV6. And it's, uh, it's right in the, in the heart of the, you know, what we call the Dantian. You know, some people call that point the Dantian, but it's actually, I think, I consider the Dantian a much bigger area. It's uh, that whole lower abdominal area is, is, is Dantian. But the, uh, the Chi High point, is that you know the nickname is uh, the sea of vitality or the sea of chi. So and it's it feeds the kidneys. So it's it's the um, the the energy that we bring to that uh, it goes into the the kidneys. Then the uh, the corresponding point is in your in your back between the third and fourth vertebrae, the uh, third and fourth lumbar vertebrae. Um, there's uh, a point called the Ming Men, which is the gate of life, and also can be considered the gate of destiny. And it is what gives you the mojo to, uh, to be all that you can be, to be, be your higher self, be your, you know, the, that which you are moving toward in your, in your life. So it also feeds the kidneys. So there's a little dance that is occurring between the, the Qi Hai and the Ming Men. And they, uh, the, uh, there's a, a term called Zhir, which is Z-H-I, which is, uh, uh, translates as will. And so whenever your kidneys are depleted, there is a, you become, um, indecisive and uh, don't have the drive to, to make things happen. So the will is the element in Chinese medicine that allows you to bring the fire of the heart and use that to heat up the, the, the water. So you're, you're bringing heat into the kidneys, which is then giving it more, more energy. And then it's, it's allowing the, the water to, uh, to become regenerated. 
So um, we're going to focus on those points in our, our meditation. And the other is um, we're going to be using the uh, the uh, Laogang points. It's uh, in your it's a uh, pericardium six. It's uh, right here in the in the palms of your hands, and uh, this is where the pericardium energy, which is uh, a very young chi, it's the it's the energy that uh, is spills out of the heart. It's the heart protector mer meridian, and the energy that is excess in the heart goes down your arms and out through the palms of your hands, and that's your a very young energy and when we're feeling the chi ball you know that's the the these two points are the primary uh, active points the primary two yang poles which are pushing against each other which kind of creates that that sense of two magnets pushing against each other so we're using that that energy there of the of uh that is generated throughout the whole system and exits through the Lao Gung points. And we're using that to activate the, uh, the Ming Men and the, and uh, the Chi High points. So um, any questions so far? I, we covered a lot, of, a lot of names there, but so uh, before we go any further, anybody, we're good? Okay, so let's, uh, let, let's let's get after it then. Won't you stand up, please? So first thing I'd like you to get uh, step out, and we're going to. Establish our three pillars. So we're connecting up to the big chi. Feel the balls of your feet. Really extend your awareness through the balls of your feet and into the earth. And by extending your awareness down, there's a, a rising of the yin chi of the earth up through the bubbling well points, the kidney one points. And it fills your body with that yin chi. Knees are soft, reach with the crown of the head. Tuck in the chin and feel that pull on the back of your neck as you open the jade pillow gate. Relax your lower back. Drop your sacrum. And allow your pelvis to level out. You may have to adjust your central equilibrium when you do that, because there may be a tendency to sink back in your heels a little bit if you do that. So you just want to reestablish your contact with the, with through the the, bubble, the the balls of your feet. Push away from the earth. Just kind of get that sense of taking over control of something you're doing at an unconscious level. And then ah, relax, spiral down to the left and then turn to the right. So you're just feeling a release there at the qua. You wanna get very sung into, your, into the qua and feel the support of your legs as you do that. Reach with your elbows, arms slightly rounded, opening the shoulder joints. Point with your index fingers and feel the energetic coherence.
Create a feeling of letting go of any extraneous muscular tension, sinking into the earth, simultaneously reaching with the crown of your head, feeling the yang chi of the heavens coming down, animating, enlivening. Reach with your elbows a little bit. And slowly reach with your wrists. Coming up to just about waist height. I'm very relaxed, shoulders open reaching without tensing your muscles. Press down. Reach with the elbows, reach with the wrists. Rotate your forearms so the palms face up. Open the arms, open the shoulders, open the chest. Lift the chin, reaching upward and arch your back. Reaching forward with your hands and reaching back with your head. Feel that contact point with your the balls of your feet. Open and extend. Relax, really very receptive in this posture. Rotate the palms, come up. Reach back with your elbows, straighten your legs. and bow forward from the quad. Reaching back. Use your own self-awareness, know your limitations, and just go to the degree that it feels safe and comfortable. Hands come down, straighten up.
Bring your hands up to waist height. And feel the low gun points in the palms of your hands. Feel the connection there. Reach with your elbows and open the, 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 your back between your shoulder blades as you do that. You wanna feel the connection through your back, from your arms, through your shoulders, through your back, so that the energy is continuous up to your hands. And you're creating a circuit where the energy is arcing across the circuit, across the, from one hand to the other, the other. Feel the, the Lao Gong points pulsing, throbbing, radiating. Separate, maintaining that energetic connection between the two palms. Feel your shoulders opening, reaching with the elbows. And bring your hands closer together. Bring your hands one over the other. And for some reason, which I'm not quite sure, it's males have the left hand on the inside females on the right hand on the inside. So we're just gonna do that and, or not. You get to do whatever you want, but that's the way I learned it. Anyway, and bring the hands to your belly. So the palm of your hand is over that chi high point. Your thumb is over your navel. And ah, sink. Push away and sink. Just get yourself nice and swung there. And allow that yang chi. to energize your chi hai and nourish the kidneys. Really feel your body, feel your hands with your belly, feel your belly with your hands, feel the heat in your hands. Open, reaching out with your hands. Feel maintaining connection. Energetically feel that 
space between your hands and your body. A big uh, chi bubble there. Feel that connection. Separate your hands, leaving your right hand facing your chi high and reach out with your left hand behind your back and feel into your Ming Men point. Your hand is off the body. Both hands are off the body right now. And now you're gonna bring it in. So you wanna have your thumb down so the palm of your hand is pressing against your back. If you can do that. If not, you know, just, just get there somehow. So your right hand is over your your belly, your left hand is over the Ming Man. Opposite for women? Um, I don't know. Just do it this way. I don't think it, I don't think it matters because we're going to turn around and do it the other way. So. Feel the heat from your Lao Gong points, warming your Ming Men, warming your Chi Hai, bringing fire to the kidneys. This is the, uh, we're doing some alchemy here. We're using the body to combine water and fire, something that you don't do otherwise, but it you know it works really swell in the uh, in the body. Now separate your hands, opening. Hands down to waist height. Feel the chi in your hand and your arms. Feel the heat in your feet. Now, reach out with your left hand in front of you, your right hand behind you. Same idea here, thumb down, palm facing your chi high in the front, big man in the back, and bring them in. And hold. Sink. Allow that yin chi to rise from the earth, the yang chi descend from the sky.
sink into your right claw, pivot on your left heel. Sink into your left leg and pivot on the ball of your foot on your right leg. Still holding the chi high with your left hand, make note with your right. And sink into your back leg, reaching back with your head. Turn your body slightly to the left. There's a slight twist to the spine. Reaching back, opening your throat, opening your chest. What we're doing here is we're activating the bone marrow and creating a transformation into uh, the chi that feeds the cerebral spinal fluid that, that nourishes the brain and the nervous system. Pivot on your left heel. Pivot on the ball of your right foot. Separate your hands. Pivot on your right heel. Sink into your right leg and pivot on the ball of your left foot. Bring the right hand to your chi high point, your left hand to the Ming Mun and sink back. Open the chest, the shoulders, turning slightly to the right, slight twist of the spine. Nourishing the brain and the nervous system. Uh, pivot on your right heel. Pivot on the toes of your, the balls of your left foot. Separate the hands. Rotate palms up. Reach forward and gently go back. Open the throat, the chest, reaching with the crown of the head, sinking into your legs reaching forward, filling 
allow yourself to receive the energy. Coming up. Palms down. Step in. Deep breath. Disappear the chi. Dissolve into the emptiness. Please take a seat. Mm. How'd that go? <laughs> Good. Valerie. You know, in the, toward the very beginning of this meditation, where you had us, you know, the hands were back and we were leaning back and then I forget how it happened. Oh, and then we, bending from the claw and the hands back and then coming back upright. I had a Sedona moment there <laughs> where my hands just were like, just like the last, when I was working on, did wasn't even consciously working on wrist in Sedona. And I got what you were talking about, about leading with the wrist. I mean, it was so powerful. This was like elbows, wrists. It was like, whoa, they're just doing this. I, uh, they, they're <laughs> under Rick's control at this point. <laughs> it, was, it was rather amazing. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Oh, no. Well, Scott. I think it's quite possible I have red hand marks on my front and back now. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. <laughs> these things happen <laughs> my, wife, my wife is doing this with like boots on like you know slippers very thick socks slipper boots on I don't know how she's doing it I'm barefoot and I'm sweating to death <laughs> Jonathan so there's this you know this opposing magnet feeling all the time when we do this with the energy pushing back repulsing each other so 
sometimes it feels like when I touch, it's not as strong. What is if there were really magnets, there would be a real strong energy there. And I'm just wondering how far this magnetic metaphor, if it is a metaphor analogy, goes. Because if it's true, then would would it be the back of the hand? Then would be like if you turned opposing magnets around, then they stick together. There's an attracting force. But the connection always for me is is of repelling forces, but one that can create a like a piece of lead between them. Actually, you know, in terms of the energy that's communicating with each other. Uh, the, the, good point. Good point. The uh, the magnet idea only goes so far because it's it's a uh, you know we're talking physicality there. We're talking materialism. You know, once you enter life into the equation, once you mm -hmm. enter consciousness in the equation, then we're just using that just as a way of thinking about it, a way of mm -hmm. sensing it. Because once you enter life into it, you know, we get to make up the rules. We get to change things around. So, oh, uh, they're they're repulsing each other. Oh, now now they're sticking together and they're they're pulling my hands together. Now they're pushing them apart, depending on on what's going on up here and how I am. This is where we get into the the juror, the 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 will. You know, it's whenever you you have that intention to to do it and you you say it's going to go this way no it's going to go this other way what effect do i want to create right now so mm -hmm. just so it's that you're by developing your kidney jing you know your essence you are also getting that your that that juror that ability to do stuff is also being developed as well so the uh it's not we're not just um we're not just uh, passengers on the magnet train. There, we we are the conductors, and and you know we 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 get to make it happen. You know, we are the train masters. So it's uh, uh, it it we are doing it. Same thing with with all the 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 things we're doing in this exercise. It's like you know the energy is is doing its thing, but we are creating the structures and the intentions. To uh, to make the energy go where where we want it to go. So that's that's uh, I think that's that's where the the fun part is. Yeah, Scott. Uh, well, maybe Jonathan hypnotized me, but when I turn one hand over, I do feel more of an attraction. <laughs> he has powers. Let <laughs> me look in his eyes. <laughs> It's like the, with the Jedi powers, you can stuff towards you. Right. Or you can push stuff <laughs> That's right. Feel the force, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Peter. Oh, yeah. Uh, I had a long day, uh, but so I audited, but I was glad I did because <clears throat> this was wonderful. It was very, felt very relevant. And, uh, and the alchemical details were very inspiring. So I'm going to watch it again and practice with it. Uh, and this is super important for you, Peter, because you're just you're coming off a of surgery, mm. and that will deplete your kidney chi. Right. And I so, also, uh, so so this is 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 really important to get your vitality back. Yeah. No, I'm going to work with it. It feels very uh, like a real gift. To uh, so thank you. You bet. So yeah, this is this is real alchemy here. We're we're <laughs> we're making stuff happen. We're throwing stuff in the cauldron. We're turning up the heat, and we're seeing what what comes out of it. Yeah, and re <laughs> replenishing the kidney chi feels. I couldn't think of anything more relevant, you know, and foundational. Uh, so that's all. It's it's something that is, uh, you know, it life has a way of accumulating. Uh, insults yeah that, that yeah. deplete the uh you know the insults can be physical emotional mental spiritual yeah. and and so the they they kind of oh yeah it's sort of one damn they, they, they pull to you. so yeah yeah so doing this 
by replenishing the kidney jing, the kidney energy, we get that uh, uh, more vitality and that feeds everything else. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, fabulous. So thank you very much. You bet. Cool. Anybody else? All right. Um, you want to do something else or you want to end off? Uh, well, let's see if uh, uh, what people are up for with the. Um, um, I think. Uh, what? Uh, you up for some more uh, exercise? You want to. Uh, you up for another, uh, another meditation? It'll be a different one. Be what I'd like to do is to bring that energy into the splitting uh, gin that we 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 were talking about the last couple of weeks. So getting that, and so we're we're feeling that that those poles in opposition, but this time animated by the 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 kidney uh, chi that we just have been working on. Does that does that sound like fun? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Step out. As you sink, feel your arms reaching with your wrists reaching with your elbows, reaching with your fingers. <laughs> Excuse me. We'll start real big. Let's see. And sink into your left leg and step out more with your right and Right palm up, left palm down, and open big. Feel those pulls in opposition. Feel the two hands pulling. Sink into your right leg and feel that. Feel the two arms, the two hands. Feel those lao gong points tugging on each other and reach open. Big, sink into right leg and turn to the right. Feel that splitting energy that your left hand, right hand, both are receiving equal attention, intention. Good, nice and slow now. Really just feel, it's like you're pulling something apart. Now we're gonna make it smaller. Sink in your right leg. And feel that. Reach with your elbows, reach with your wrists. Sink into your left leg. And split. Feel them pulling apart. Right leg. Very yin. Even though the arms are young, 
the energy that's animating this very yin, left leg. Feel those two arms pulling. Smaller still. Right leg and hmm. reach with the elbows. Open the shoulders. Feel left leg. Right leg. Left leg, smaller still. Right leg. Back to center. You know, all those big energies, those expansive, Rotate the forearms. Pulling. Our hands facing each other. Push them together. Now split, pull them apart. Now push them together. And pull them apart. And let that go and let all that exist as a potentiality. So that you can instantly go either either direction, any size. All exists as a recreatable energy potential. Press down. Sink into the right leg, step in. Deep breath. Disappear the chi. Please have a seat. Keith. Well, I'll try to temper my exuberance, but that was <laughs> a really good. I mean, I physically felt this bundle of energy that I was holding and I wasn't sure what to do with it. 
<laughs> but it was physically there and it had mass. Nice. Nice. It does have mass. It's like, you know, there's, there's something there. Cool. Beautiful. Yeah, Scott. Uh, while we were doing this, I, you know, since Valerie was in front of me, I'm looking at her hands. Her hands were burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I don't think that's, I've never seen that color in skin. The whole <laughs> Medic. <laughs> cool yeah i wanted you to feel that you know in application so we we cranked up the g to 11 so now now what you know this is how we use it we can we can feel that the internal power that chin you know kind of bubbling up there and then let that go and just leave it as a recreatable potential of energy, which I think is a really key point here to all this, is that as we familiarize ourselves with these insubstantial states and insubstantial elements that we are then able to summon them up more readily as we as we move forward and and be able to pack them into these these movements particularly uh, like Taiji Tran movements, and we're able to then have some stuff whenever we do a form. And then we also can, if it's not, if it doesn't require all that, e that much effort in order to crank it up, then we're more inclined to start with a, uh, with a full tank whenever we do a, when we do a form, rather than just kind of gliding through our, uh, our thing just to kind of get it done. So this is just a way of saying, oh yeah, I can do this. And you know, I showed you a bunch of different ways of of, do, of accessing those energies there with the, uh, you know, with the Ming Men and the uh, and the Chi Hai. But the uh, very simply, just you can <laughs> just put your hands on your belly, and you know, and use that to circulate your your Chi to feed the. And, and it's something that particularly during the winter you want you want to uh, emphasize you know just take a moment you know it doesn't have to be much just you know 10 seconds just stick your hands on your on your belly and just kind of feel that feel the warmth of your hands filling up your you know they uh, those those points there just by bringing awareness to these points we create an energetic connection and once we've done it and we've done it big, then we can we can recreate it with much less ramp up. Cool. Anybody else? All right. Thank you all so much. It's been great. Thank, Thank you, Maria. Have a great Thank Thanksgiving. Yes. Have a yeah, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, guys. Have a great Thanksgiving. Love you, Maria. Love you, Maria. Love you, Maria.